You guys remember me from a year ago? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put you in the uh, in the uh, thumbnail. Okay. I got your head. That's perfect. I got your head shot. We're good. So this, first of all, this is Ion. Hi guys. And this is Ion's awesome Z. What are we doing? We are putting twin turbo. Just joking. We are putting <laughs> triple carbs from Weber because the Makunis are extremely expensive and I can't afford them. We're also putting full exhaust and the headers. All done at the same time because you have they're all on the same side here and if you wanna do that gasket, you have to do them both anyway. Correct, so I got the twice pipes from Z Car Depot and then also the triple Weber carbs. And I also got a heat shield. I don't know why because those headers on the floor right there are the TVC heat coated ones which took forever to come in because apparently their heat coating guy went missing but he's back now. That's good, they found him. That's right. Huh. Was he in the machines or something? I have no idea. Okay, so we've got the header, we've got the carbs, we've got the manifold to go with it, the gasket. Uh, cool little mount for the carbs, I like this. So it's gonna be quite a job because once you get everything bolted in, that's like 10% of the work, honestly. From there on, you gotta set up the linkage, you gotta sync the carburetors and do all that good stuff. And that's what's time consuming. All of these little linkages and stuff that becomes the bulk of your work. So we're gonna get started. First thing we're gonna do is take off everything to strip these, the, these carburetors and this manifold down to bare so that we can pull the whole thing off, get the header off, and start to lay this stuff out. All right, carburetors are off. As you can see, these are kind of integrated with this one gasket that goes across the whole thing. So now that we have the carbs off, we can work on getting the header out. We've already disconnected the exhaust pipes off of the end of the header, off the factory header. Which actually, this, this header actually doesn't look too bad. I don't know, if, I don't think this is factory. Okay. Looks pretty, looks pretty nice size. So what's this, uh, what's this thing right here? Little plate there. Maybe, I don't know, awesome. maybe. I can't see what it says. Oh, pace setter. Yeah, it's not factory. Oh, so pace setter header. So yeah, so this is a pace setter header. So there you go. So not a factory header, but uh, looks like it comes pretty much in the same package as a factory one. So we'll go ahead and keep taking stuff apart. What are we doing now? Getting this exhaust manifold off, or header, as we figured out. Um, got all the bolts off. Now we're lifting out. Up and out. Easy work. See, kind of a comparison between the two. They're a little different. You can see the front runner design there is a little different on the on the new header than the old one. And it looks like the collectors are a little closer together. So kind of interesting. Now we'll clean off this gasket surface, get this gasket out of here, and start preparing for the new stuff. What do you think? Well, so far I've been working on this thing for a solid um, hour minimum. That's what it says, one hour on the manual. That's what it says on the book. Yeah, yeah Sean's doing a really good job. Yeah, it hasn't been eight hours. Look at that, huh? The deep socket. Yeah, that one. Tool boy. So uh, we've got the carburetors on, got the header on. Skipped a bunch of steps for you because it was a real nightmare. Um, longest hour installation ever. So I had to actually cut this bell crank to work with the throttle in the opposite direction so that I could put the throttle arms on the other side and make the throttle actually work this way. Then the rod wasn't long enough, so I lengthened the rod using another piece of metal so that the whole thing would reach to that farthest carburetor. And we've got everything set up. So now, tightening up this, we're gonna go downstairs to the exhaust, try to get that buttoned up. Then we're gonna put some fuel in it and see if we can fire it off and make it run. Make this guy happy. Okay, can you do me a favor and start this thing up, Ion? We primed the carburetors, got the air out of them, got everything going, and... Uh, only one, one hour. hour. Can you imagine? That's I mean, right. one hour. we only have an hour of daylight here in yeah. sunny South Florida. We're gonna need that jump, jump pack. We're gonna need that jump old box. car, old battery. To be fair, we did change the battery when we got it, but we put that 
awesome lawnmower, lawnmower battery. battery. What do you mean? That ain't no lawnmower battery. Yeah, it's the same lawnmower my Dixie Chopper takes. Hit it! Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Harvey's gonna come put the exhaust on this thing. We're gonna get an exhaust welded up because the exhaust system that he got didn't really fit too well. He wants to stack the mufflers vertically instead of horizontally. Like that. Yeah, so Harvey's gonna massage these and we'll do some piping and it'll sound real nice. Then we can go back into some tuning. But um, overall, this is a beautiful car. Um, we found this car how long ago? A couple years ago. A year. A year, a year ago, yeah. okay. Year and a half. So Ion and I, we, we, we went up and looked at it and decided we're going to take it. We got it. Uh, this is this is a beautiful car overall. Everywhere. The paint's amazing on it. It's just a really nice looking car. And so 73? Yes. 73 Datsun 240Z. Beautiful. And now with these triple Webers on it, it just looks right. Because now you got that big old six intake set up nice ceramic coated header down there or jet coated or whatever they call that really really nice overall a beautiful car beautiful stuff so stay tuned for this we're gonna we're gonna do some more we'll get the exhaust on and maybe we'll even throw it on the dyno oh yeah see see if we you know we'll we'll push it a little bit see what kind of power we can get out of it because <laughs> i think i think i think 100 and 140 yeah, I was going to say 150, Bob. Yeah. I was going to say close to 500, but... Uh, you were... <laughs> lawnmowers, you know? Maybe the other one. They don't, they don't know about that one, do they? Oh, it's on my channel. It's, <laughs> is it? My channel stopped because the uh, body shop in... Uh, oh, okay. The, it's, it's just... Well, there's another Datsun Z that they're allegedly. putting together. Allegedly. 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 And, and that one is going to be a little bit more horsepower than this. This one's staying classic, keeping it, keeping it real, keeping it authentic. The other one is not. 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 The other one's going to be spice all over the place because right. brown people like spice. They really like do. Curry. curry. You, you should call it the, the, curry, curry, the curry carriage. Curry the curry carriage. Curry carriage. Oh, you gonna, are you going to paint it like a bright like curry color? <laughs> Listen, we're going to find out, all right? All you right. can't let anything know. This is top secret you, information. you got to stay tuned to Shaw's stay channel. Tuned. you got to subscribe to Cars and Camels if yeah. you want to find out the color, the suspension, the engine. All the details the detail, for everything, that other car. Everything. Cars and Camels. This car's on here. That car's not. Correct. But it will be one day. One day. Something one day. Something. Allegedly. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, hope you guys had a good weekend. We're back in the swing of things, and um, we're doing stuff. We're doing stuff. If you haven't seen the last video... Oh. We got this R34 on tap. That's that's good stuff. And uh, that's, we got a huge project coming for that. Shaw's about to make a big order. I'm gonna do some big things with that. I'm gonna do the, the Shaw dream build on that. And I know, you know, Jack had, you know, 5% to do with it. It was all 100% me, <laughs> but that's fine. But Jack's got some, uh, he made- Just like this, I had 5% to do with this. Yeah. Amazing what Shaw did in an hour. It's funny, you see my video of this car, you can see how quickly it yeah <laughs> okay well anyway that's going to do it for this video so let me know what you guys think if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed it really helps and uh if you want us to do any work for you make sure you give us a call get on the books because shah fills them he picks it up it's good five six one eight four two eight three 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 or email us info at horsepowerlogic.com and you'll get an or you'll get a response back from this guy Biden's, people. Biden's America. <laughs>